Hey YouTube, welcome back. So uh, today I'm going to uh, unbox uh, this. Uh, this one is the AutoFix OBD2 uh, scanner code reader for Ford, Lincoln, and uh, Mercury. The model number is the uh, 7150 Full Systems Diagnostic Scanner Tool with the uh, engine ABS, SRS, SAS, BMS, EPB, TPMS, transmission, DPF, regen, oil reset for all cars uh, after 1991. So this one is the new and latest uh, 2021 version uh, upgraded uh, chip. Quickly uh, solve your uh, car problem within uh, 5 seconds. And uh, this one has a universal uh, special function for group uh, vehicle, such as uh, reset the oil change uh, indicator, clear crash uh, data memory, injector quantity uh, adjustment, clear EGR adapted uh, tables, DPF uh, regeneration uh, suspension, fuel injection uh, pump learn, reset uh, PCM cam, throttle adaption, IQA, and uh, with this scanner, you could uh, immediately know if your uh, car is uh, ready for a small check with the IM uh, readiness. So I would like to give the shout out to Anne for their marketing team for sending me this. And this one also support uh, 11 uh, languages and also uh, do an accurate uh, battery uh, check to let you know before starting if your battery is uh, too low, slightly low, normal, or uh, too high. Anyway, let's go and then uh, unbox uh, this and then uh, show you guys the unit. And uh, here's the product description right here. by Autofix 7150 FD Professional Scanner. Service uh, reset, throttle adaption, EPB uh, reset, DPF function. And here are all the special function that I just uh, went over. They also have uh, basic uh, functions, re uh, faulty uh, codes, erase uh, faulty code, re-data uh, stream or system. So this also works on the, the basic uh, functions, also work for other uh, manufacturers. So you also recode, erase code, IM uh, readiness, Retrieve a data stream, EVAP uh, test, vehicle information. And it is uh, made in uh, China. This is a uh, user menu right here. And you could also update this. So it comes with this uh, micro uh, USB data cable for the up update. And that goes on the bottom of the unit right here. And uh, USB Type-A right here just uh, connecting to your uh, 
Windows 8 or Windows 10 uh, computers. Wow. This is the OBD2 connector right here. Got a nice uh, rubberized uh, button right here. So yeah, we, let's go out there and uh, go to the car and then uh, test out some of the functions. All right. So you got this uh, outer layer of uh, rubber uh, cover that will protect the unit from uh, getting uh, damage or drop. All right, so uh, we are testing out this uh, 2009 Volkswagen uh, Rapid. I'm gonna put the key and then uh, into the ignition, turn to the ACC and then a second, but don't start the car, okay? And uh, we're going to uh, connect this uh, 16 pin OBD2 uh, connector, bottom of the steering wheel column, okay? So uh, right there on this car, there's a purple connector. All right, so we have uh, OBD2, and then uh, when it says for Ford, this is a uh, special for Ford. So unfortunately, this car is not Ford, so we're gonna go to uh, OBD2, press OK. So as you can see, it shows the uh, MIL status is off. That's like a check engine light, more function indicator light, and then uh, DTC in this uh, ECU it was uh, zero. Readiness, yes, four. Readiness, no. That means uh, four of the readiness is not ready. So you got to complete your uh, drive cycle because uh, this uh, car, the battery was unplugged. So you need to complete uh, certain miles to uh, finish your drive cycle in order to pass, uh, get ready for the small check. And then the readiness uh, now apply to them. Data stream support 42, ignition uh, spark, and then uh, protocol type is uh, CAN. So, let's see. So, if you want, you can read the code. So, no faulty codes. Press escape. And over here, you could uh, erase code. I am readiness, which we just uh, went over. Data stream. Let's go ahead and press OK. View all stream. So yeah, with this one, uh, you will need to have your vehicle running. Let's go ahead and escape. Now, since I'm in the garage, I don't want to run the car right now. And then there's a EVAP uh, system test. Vehicle information. So with this one, once you will go in, it will show you a vehicle uh, VIN number and everything. So this is for uh, basic uh, information, if your car is not Ford. So you gotta press escape and then press OK to get out of there. And then uh, we could do the oil reset right here. Yeah, so unfortunately the computer cannot read, so uh, it has to be Ford. And then you could also do the EPB uh, reset. So again, uh, it will show you uh, what year you could choose from. But And then you could also do the EPB apply and release test. Okay. And there's a battery. Please uh, turn off engine. Current voltage is 11.96 volt. Press OK to start detection, escape to cancel. I'm going to press OK to do the test. So now it says start engine. So I'm going to start this uh, for a quick test.
So it shows you the current voltage and stuff like that right there, okay? So you know your battery is good or not. And then there's a BMS uh, reset. So again, uh, this vehicle is not Ford, so it won't allow me to do that. And then there's a ETC reset. So again, your vehicle has to be uh, four in order to do that function. And then there's a tool setup. So right here where you can set the languages. So right now it's English, you can slip whatever, French, Dutch, Spanish, Italian. Polish, Portuguese, okay, 12 languages that you can choose from. Uh, beeper, probably the beeping, you can turn it off. So now it's off. And then uh, instruction, display at startup. So you can turn it off if you don't want the short instruction. I'm gonna leave it there. Unit of uh, measure. You select a uh, metric or imperial, let's leave it on metric. And then a uh, skin style, you could change the display uh, color. Right now it's a uh, sky gray. You could turn it to gem blue. And this is what it's gonna look like. So yeah, I like the uh, sky gray better for the dark display or the dark mode. And then uh, feedback, the test uh, result. And then uh, default is uh, information, okay? Show you the software version, serial number and everything. And then that's all, okay? Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification or drop any comments on below. And uh, be sure to check out the links uh, within the description so you guys uh, could check out this unit. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.